Because until we're actually embodying this high love frequency, we'll continually be triggered by our, our, our twin flame until we embody this, this higher love for ourselves, this higher knowing. And it doesn't mean that we're not going to still be triggered by them. It just means that we'll be able to process it better and align back to love and show up in the most aligned, authentic way for one another so that we can all grow and evolve and embody love. It's a journey of self-love. Wishing you all the best. And if you have any questions or need guidance, I'm not perfect, but I'm finding happiness where I'm at. And despite being in separation from my twin, we've never stopped talking. He's never blocked me. Um, but it's also, I feel like, because we both recognize that we are one. And I honor and respect him and I give him space. I can energetically feel when he needs space and I just back off. Um, and I recognize that it's not me. I recognize that it's the, these deep triggers inside of him that I am triggering in him that's forcing him to go inside and to heal and to return himself to love. But sometimes having your twin in your re experience all the time can be too stimulating in the beginning too overwhelming and so you need that period of break to integrate to grow and to see the truth without distortions um if that makes any sense but yeah so this has been my journey so far i'll make some more videos as well i just felt called to kind of share a little bit more of my experience i haven't spoken too much about it if at all um and mostly because we're in separation and it's, it hasn't been an easy journey. Um, so it's a journey of self-love. It's a journey of remembrance. And uh, I'm grateful to have met him, even if we never, ever, ever are together in this physical lifetime. Even if that never happens, I'm just so grateful to have his friendship in this life and to be walking this path with him my beautiful divine mirror. I love you.